Good day, tubers. It's Robert 28, 1979. As I guess here, I've got the case up on the the jack. I've already took the cylinder off, the hoses all the way back to the valve off. Oh, uh, gotta figure out. I've got some other hose outside. I've got some more hose over here. I don't know which one I'm gonna use to go from the cylinder back, but here's kind of the issue I'm at. First of all, let me find those pictures here. No. This picture here, let's get to where the glare ain't so bad with the light here, is an actual picture of a case manufactured one. So, uh, as you can see, their hoses are fairly decent length. I've got some long ones outside, I've got some shorter ones. And uh, this next picture here is of one that's being built. I tried to copy off, but in this picture of the cylinder, he's got bigger than the one that I've got that came on the case. So, uh, so I'll show you all that now. This is the lifting cylinder, which it might actually be the same length as his in the picture that came off of the case. Problem is, it's only a two and a quarter inch stroke, so it's not a very long stroke. So I've got everything on here. All tacked together, you can see some pretty crummy tacks. That gasless flux core wire ain't worth a piss. I don't like it, but I'll fire the Lincoln up here in a little bit and I'll weld everything, finish welding everything out. Then I'm gonna mount this back on the tractor, on the case, tractor. And then I'm gonna come through on the bottom and put my bottom rod that's gonna run across for the lifting arms. I'll stick that up there and I'll use that to tack it into place. And then I'll go back in with the link and weld it solid across. And then uh, I've got these lifting arms here. These actually came off of the Ford LGT-17H. And I was thinking about trying to see if I can use these. Because um, they're pretty bent and everything. But let's get these over here. The table is such a dang mess. And this thing's such a mess, which you'll notice these pipe deals in my videos. What those are is a guy puts up uh, billboard signs, and these, it takes eight of them per sign. But yeah, it may take nine per sign, but there's nine on that stack, eight in this stack. Anyway, he builds the signs, he bolts it together, and clamps it to the pipe, and... What I got to do is you see here, I've got that one clamped on. I got to weld that on, gusset it, weld this one on, gusset it, and do the full weld out of both sides. Clean it all up, get all the burrs and stuff off, grind it down. Like here, get all these burrs off the edges. And then one whole ring is assembled. It's just all bolt together stuff, which is pretty a pretty smart deal versus going out and welding everything out in the middle of the field and catching fires or starting fires. So, pretty smart on that deal, but I got to get these finished up pretty soon, but back to this. My mind's going to be miles a minute right now. I've got so many things I got to get done that it ain't even funny. Oh, boy. Trying to get my project done in, in a little bit of lead time I've got, which I got the blueprints here. And I'll tell you, if, if anybody out there is going to build one of these, and you find these blueprints online, you know, right there it says use the dimensions as guidelines only, create templates and test fit everything. Because what I ran into, all these measurements it gives you here for the holes and everything, they're way off. These bottom holes, going off that measurement, which I got the other plate on the floor, were a full complete hole off up. The actual bolt would have gone in right here. So I had to uh, make a new plate, which is this one, which I went off that diagram and punched the hole. But you see, I had to cut it out to make it fit because it was this hole at the bottom edge of it was actually hitting half of the top half of that plug, which I'll show you that. I'll explain. You've got 
plug right there. That one hole I had to cut out. Half of it was hitting the top half of that plug. So it wasn't correct. So if you build one of these for the 222, you're going to have to change your, make your own measurements. You have to kind of go off those, but double measure everything to make sure. Because I believe these plans were actually made to build a hitch for the 444s, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, but anyway, fingers on the work this morning. But there is the actual lifting arms. So it says here, the lower left arm, lift arms have been bent in various configurations. This is just one of them. So especially per to how you want to do it, but the overall length of the uh, lift arm is 17 inches, what this is calling for. And if you take Set this over here. Uh, I got a mess going on up here. If you take a tape measure, measure, hold on a second, I'm trying to use both hands. This one comes off, I'm going to just get an eyeball figure in there, about 15 inches, which is two inches shorter than that. But as you can tell, it's got a heck of a lot more bend in it. So, because these are going. On this plate, they'll come off like that, off over the bend out, which this is actually got a double another bend down there to kind of allow it to bend in some. But as you see, the lifting holes here instead of right down here, so I'm gonna have to put another hole in here for the lifting. But I'm thinking these might work, and if they don't, I ain't too worried about it. Because I've got the lifting arms that I made right down, down here that were on the back of that Ford LGT 17H. I took all that off and saved all that just for when I was building this one. So those are, I think they're 32 inches long or something like that. I made them real long because that Ford, when you attach the three point hitch stuff up, it was just way too close to the tires. I mean, I think my disc. My little disc was actually hitting the tire, if I'm not mistaken, so I had to change those out, but it'll be different on this case. Oh, good to test in the uh, tornado sirens right now. So, uh, I don't know, that might be kind of close too, so I'll have to check it and see, and if so, then I'll just make new tra uh, lifting arms, ain't too bad, ain't too bad, so, but... And also, too, on these blueprints, the other thing I don't like is, you see, you see here it says, uh, come on, focus. It says 8.50 inches. You got 7.50 or 0.88 inches. I'm not on a metric system. I'm on standard. So I went to a website and actually printed off a conversion table so I mean it goes from fra uh, fraction decimal millimeter all the way up to two inch so you know it's 16th is 0 0.0156 so kind of give you a little bit of a guideline I mean some of these numbers don't hit quite I said that was 0 0.3 0 0.88 which will be on the next one here I believe See, 0.88 and even on here it's between 7 8 and 57 64 so I just went with 7 8 didn't matter to me it's close enough this is going on my my rig so it don't matter it's not like I'm doing it for a customer so but um I've got all that stuff and yeah like I said I got a hell of a mess going on everywhere you look there's crap just stacked on everything in here right now it's just been so hectic and crazy here lately with everything that's going on, which I'm not going to get into all that because some of it is a little too personal. So, uh, but needs to say, I'm 
I'm home right now on medical leave because I hurt my back, which I've said in another video, but they're actually going to send me to a specialist on that. And I'm probably going to have to have surgery, so I'll be out for a while. So I've got to do what I can out here to make the extra funds to cover up for the lost money I'm going to be missing on my paycheck. So a lot of work for me going on here pretty soon. But this is where I'm at on the three-point hitch. I'm fixing to start welding it all solid. And like I said, once I get that done, I'll mount it back on the tractor and get that lower bar in place. And then uh, I'll tack it on while it's under the tractor. And then I'll turn around and pull it back off and weld it all up. And I'll let you all see that. And then the next step is going to have to be building my lifting arm, or my actual adjustments. They come off here for the lift that run the rod that runs from here to your lifting arm. Uh, lifting apparatus. There we go. <laughs> but I'll have to get those made. And I've seen a different two different styles. I've seen that the photo earlier. I'll, let me refer back to those a little bit. I said I'm kind of hit or miss today. These guys on this one use solid rod. From what I could tell, see kind of like this one on here from the factory. It's just got a solid rod with a little adjuster there. But you got to take the car key out and you got to twist it to adjust it. It's kind of crappy if you ask me. But that might not be correct either. It looks like it's got a, under that hose, it's got a, a washer welded to it. It goes through a, basically a piece of tube. And a washer on the bottom for you can actually spin that by hand to adjust it. It's not a bad idea. But I've also seen the other ones on uh, YouTube where they have double adjusters on both sides. But they just went and bought and manufactured the ends. And I'm about to see if I can get a hold of top link adjustment there. So I've still got a little bit left to do, but that's where I'm at on it. So it's coming along slowly but surely. I was kind of hoping to have it all done by now, but. I ain't that big of a hurry to be honest with you so but anyways until the next video comment rate subscribe and let me know what y'all guys think till then y'all have a good one